Real Madrid returned to La Liga competition after their latest victory in the Champions League. This time, Los Merengues are visiting the Rayo Vallecano Stadium. Let's hear the strategy and insights from the coach ahead of the match. Here is Carlo Ancelotti. Vallecas is a challenging stadium. It always has been in previous years. As always, tomorrow's match will be tough against an opponent that needs to earn points, especially with a new coach, which will motivate their players. All of this pressures us to showcase our best football, especially considering it's a crucial moment in the season. And we have to capitalize on that. I see and hear what's happening. I understand that this is the topic of the day for all of you, but it's not the same for us. We only care about tomorrow's match and continuing to work well to finish the season strong. What we've discussed at the club is tomorrow's match. We've analyzed the game with video footage and prepared ourselves as best as we can. We're aware that it's an important match for our season in La Liga. What I, put, what I would like is to finish this season well, to win titles with Real Madrid. That's what I enjoy, and we're working towards it. Thinking about next season will be tasked for next season. There's still a long way to go for that now. Once the central defenders return, with Rudiger coming back soon, followed by Militao, and much later, Alaba will see that Chomeni's role won't be as a central defender. His position is as a defensive midfielder, and that's why we signed him. However, he's proving that he can work as a central defender perfectly well. He's adapting very quickly to that position, which tells us that he's a very, very intelligent player. This is a topic we've discussed many times with the press, but with Luca, I've talked about it only once. And that's more than enough. Obviously, for a player like him, who in his career has been accustomed to playing almost every game, it's a bit harder for him to sit on the bench than for other players. This feeling is quite normal for him, and I understand it perfectly. However, Luca's behavior is that of a professional and serious man who continues to work, train, and strive. He continues to contribute just as, as he did before during training sessions. He is a highly respected player, an example of what a professional player should be. Uh, every day he strives to give his best during training, even if he doesn't play in every game. He continues to contribute to the team as before. He remains a reference for the other players. I place a lot of value on the defensive work that forwards do. And as I've said before, typically the player with the most quality in their game is the one who runs the least on the field, but Rodrigo is an exception. In the recent matches, the defensive work of the forwards has been crucial, especially in the last two games. <laughs> Thanks to this, we haven't conceded any goals. Do you see me affected or worried about this now? Uh, no. Well, it will be exactly the same in the next press conferences. And this practice arose as an idea at the beginning of the season. Before each game, a player from the team will give a motivational talk. It's a proposal to each player, but they're not obliged to do it. This can be done by one of the captains or any other player. So far, everyone has done it. Before each game, we choose a player for this talk before taking to the field. So this is a new tradition we've introduced this season, and I think it's good to do it a few minutes before the match. And uh, I see that he's doing well at the moment. His physical condition's good now. 
and obviously to, he could start in some matches and contribute to the team. Uh, right now he has to contend with the competition he has in the team, but this is quite normal. But let me remind you of what I've told you many times. Let's be patient with him. This is what the club has been doing for the past few years with club legends. Legends like Luka Modric, Tony Cruz, and Nacho. And they all have one year left on their contracts following the club's policy when it comes to renewals. The last time I spoke with Luka about this topic was a month ago, and everything is quite clear between us. Yes, I, I think the same way. Um, and good players have to play together. I believe the important thing is to maintain balance because for me there are two important ingredients in a, in a team. Quality and balance among everyone. If as a coach you can combine these two ingredients, then you can succeed.